Howdy. Um, today's a full day of training. I got up and ran at um, five this morning, then slept for like an hour before coming to training. And so it's been like, I'm a little under the weather. I have a cold. So um, I've been pretty drained, like just feeling the way you feel when you're run down with a cold. Um, but doing pretty well despite that, um, like being able to push through things and like not being too bad, but um, kind of a little bit of a shitty attitude about it. Kevin keeps telling me like, I don't look as sick as I'm acting. <laughs> but um, today maybe because of the run, I spent most of the day sleeping. So I trained in the morning and then I slept most of the day and came back this afternoon. And when I was hitting the pads for my second session this afternoon, um, I was really powerful. Like my um, explosiveness and aggression was actually really, really good. Um, and I completely forgot to look at Canoe's eyes. Like there were a couple of times that I like remembered and tried to do it and it just completely escaped my mind after that. Um, so it was a, um, I think a lack of focus issue rather than a not being able to do it issue. But I surprised myself with um, the power and explosiveness and strength that I was pulling, which I think is interesting for this reason. My brain has not caught up with how physically I'm doing. So I slept really well, um, and so physically I'm able to be much stronger than I have been over the past couple of days because of this cold, but my brain hasn't caught up with it yet. Like mentally I haven't caught up with it yet. So I'm anticipating being tired uh, and surprising myself by not being, but still anticipating being tired despite having facts to the contrary of that. So Pinu was saying that once Carabao shows up, I'll do boxing sparring with him and I'm completely dreading it uh, because my brain is like, you're tired, even though my body is like, we're doing okay. Uh, I ended up, he hasn't shown up yet, so I ended up doing some sparring um, with this awesome woman from Hong Kong. She's been here before. Um, and it was kind of, uh, when I go with people who I'm not used to sparring with, I don't have the like, oh, well, this is what I work on when I'm with Champ. This is what I work on when I'm with Carabao. Like, it's, I'm in a little, like, test kitchen where I know all of my utensils kind of thing, so when you throw something new into the mix, it's been a while since I've sparred with someone who I don't know, like, who I don't normally spar with. Um, and it's totally, again, like, my brain has not caught up. I was not, um, as aware of the things that I wanted to work on as I would be if I were with my regular training partners, so... Um, I did think of things that I wanted to do. I wanted to stay closer and I wanted to work on my guard, which I was able to do. Um, which is plus plus, like give myself credit for that. Um, but I kind of like, one of the difficult things for me is that because you're used to who you train with, you trust who you train with, or you have built in baggage with who you train with. Then when you try to bring all those things that you've worked on to the fight, you're in there with a completely different context than you are in your training sessions. Like, I rematch people uh, quite often, so I, I tend to know the people that I'm fighting, but not well, like not the way I know my training partners. Um, and so whatever it is that I'm doing in the gym that I can like create my mental molds for have a lot to do with my familiarity with those people. And so it's hard to tack that onto the unfamiliar of an actual fight where someone's trying to hurt you and things like that. Um, so when you have new sparring partners like today, um, you get a little bit more of that because of the unfamiliar, because of the like, what the fuck is going on kind of thing, um, which I think is uh, a beneficial thing to try to supplement with, if at all possible. Um, that's one of the reasons that I would go over to Rambaz for sparring before, uh, was that I didn't have sparring partners here, but it's also like just throwing the unfamiliar into the mix for that kind of um, element of surprise, I guess is what you would call it. Um, so yeah, I don't know if there's like a recap for what today's <laughs> mental training is like, other than that my brain is not catching up. Like I'm a little bit in a brain fog, maybe from the cold or maybe because I'm lazy, but I need to get out of it. Um, and I need to kind of like take this opportunity that because my body is feeling better, because I have some power and I'm not like dragging myself and slugging myself through things. Um, I should be able to take that energy and put it into the mental side um, in the same way. I think that would really benefit me today. So that's what I'm going to do when I go back in is tell my brain to catch up because I'm not as tired as I think I am um, and uh, be more 
aware of uh, where my brain is at instead of just being like, oh, I'm tired, I'm gonna let it slide. Is that the way? 